Hello friends, this video on NEET Ecology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now do you know that there are some animals which are exclusively found in a particular area that is you do not found them you do not get to see them in uh, multiple areas it's only in specific areas they live and this type of animals are called endemic species so what are endemic species so these are species which are unique to specific geographic locations so that means you find the species only in certain specific locations like they are not very common to multiple areas so only certain locations so let us look at some examples of endemic species for example if if we talk about the panchmari national park so there in terms of the flora so this is panchmari national park and here in terms of the plants that is the flora you have the sal tree you have the wild mango tree and these are endemic species so basically sal tree wild mango tree they are very much unique to this specific location of panchmari national park similarly if you talk about the fauna of this area so you have the giant squirrel you also have the flying squirrel which are again endemic species for this particular area similarly if you talk about uh, the kaziranga national park so in kaziranga national park if you talk about the uh, flora you have the elephant grass and the marshland which are endemic species of kaziranga national park elephant grass and marshland and if you talk about the fauna, uh, the Indian rhinoceros, swamp deer, wild water buffalo, a high density of tigers. So these are some of, uh, th these are parts of the fauna of the Kaziranga National Park. So uh, the conclusion is that when we talk about endemic species, these are species which are unique to geographic location. For example, the giant flying squirrel is an endemic species of Panchmari National Park. Now the moment we talk about endemic species, one species that very commonly comes to our mind is the dinosaurs and we say that they do not exist anymore, we just see them in movies and um, in fictional stories but they do not exist anymore. So why don't we see them because they have become totally extinct not a single organism of dinosaurs exist anymore so they have totally become extinct so endemic species are at higher risk of extinction that's because uh, the endemic species are uh, located in a small area in a small within a small geographic uh, area they are located so if something go, ro something wrong happens in that particular area then the endemic species might become extinct so they are always at a higher risk of ext extinction now why are endemic species at higher risks of extinction First reason is loss of habitat. Now loss of habitat might happen due to forest fires or due to human exploitation. Now since these species are dependent only on one specific habitat. So if that habitat is lost, you do not have those species anywhere else. So that way endemic species are at higher risk. Introduction of new species into the area. So new species might compete with the existing endemic species or there is also a possibility that the new species might come and they might attack the existing uh, endemic species now the major reason is that endemic species are located only in a specific geographic area so anything goes wrong with that geographic area the endemic species are gone so therefore they are always at higher risk of extinction now the moment we talk about extinction, all those animals nearing extinction, that means all those animals which, which have the um, threat of extinction, extinction, they are called endangered animals. For example, the Bengal tiger, in fact, uh, just a handful of Bengal tigers exist now so that their numbers have reduced a lot which shows that they are nearing extinction Asian elephant, snow leopard, black rhino, chimpanzee blue whale these are all examples of endangered animals whose population is gradually decreasing and they are nearing extinction now 
there are harmful effects as well as far as species extinction is concerned like it disturbs the food chain because if you look at the food chain every living organism in some way or the other is dependent on other organisms now when one particular species becomes extinct what happens the food chain gets disturbed because there might be other species which were dependent on this species for their food there might be some species which were eaten up by these species as food so now both of these get disturbed so overall the food chain gets disturbed the ecosystem gets affected now when we talk about the ecosystem in ecosystem we have plants animals microbes plus the abiotic components like soil water air so and there are interactions amongst all of these the biotic and abiotic components now when out of these components certain species become extinct what happens then the dependency between the components of the ecosystem gets affected and therefore the entire ecosystem is adversely affected because for a productive ecosystem it is always good to maintain a nice balance between the components of the ecosystem if extinction continues there will be a day when no life form would exist on earth so that's quite obvious right so earth is unique because of the existence of various life forms now today maybe one species is becoming extinct tomorrow two more species will become extinct day after tomorrow five more species will become extinct so gradually more number of species becoming extinct will actually leave the earth with lesser number of life forms so there might be a day when no life form exists on the earth so uh, the planet earth would no more be unique so that is why it is high time that we take special care to prevent and species extinction now the question is how do extinctions affect us so right now we are talking about the harmful effects of extinction but the harmful effects to the environment as such to the entire ecosystem to the planet earth and this impact at the end comes to us because we are a part of this planet earth we are a part of this ecosystem we are a part of the food chain so all of these impact us now knowing these harmful effects it is high time now that we should save the endangered species and how can we do, do that stop hunting and killing animals in fact that is why the protected areas have been created just to protect the animals from the human uh, activities protect their habitat so let's ensure that we do not spoil habitat of any animal for that matter do not spoil the surrounding environment so keep doing these small and simple things we can ensure that we are safe all other animals and plant species are also safe and we can also prevent them from becoming extinct thank you Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.